Selecting your hard surfaces can be a big commitment, and once you've chosen, it's difficult to change. So we came to the source. Today we're here at the Seat showroom to look at some beautiful new products and share with you some tips when installing hard surfaces. Tip number one is to consider what room you're going to be working with. Is it a powder room? Is it a kitchen? What's the size of the room? Also consider the existing conditions. Is it a new build or is it an older home which is being renovated? All of these things will affect which tile you use and the application. Do you have something that's similar to this that is water resistant? So we do have porcelains that have that industrial raw cementy look. And these porcelain tiles would be rated for floor and wall applications. Great for use in showers um, as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Looks very realistic too, I like the little pebbles even. Speaking of application, tip number two is to think about where exactly in the space you'll be installing the tile. For example, in a kitchen, you'll have to consider the floor, possibly the backsplash, even the countertop. You want all of these things to work together, so it's important to consider each. Knowing this information before you go shopping is going to make the process a lot smoother. This one's very cool too, that kind of rippling effect. Very impactful when done in an entire space yeah. there too. There's also this 3D wall tile that's really interesting. It's crazy to touch, like how smooth that is. In a mod space, you could use it as a backsplash. Yeah, it would definitely be on the wall. I don't think you'd want to walk on right. something like that. <laughs> we get a lot of Ask a Designer questions about painting or wallpapering feature walls. An option we really love is something like this. Mosaics can really add a ton of character into a space. These ones are completely handmade and totally customizable and just really add wow factor to a powder room, a front hall. There's also a large selection of ready-to-go mosaic designs. Speaking of large-scale applications... Yeah, this is the natural stone room. There is some amazing things in here. It's huge! Look at this. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's that so cool. so cool. Tip number three is narrow down your style. It's great to have an inspiration shot to really help convey what you're looking for. But come with an open mind as well, because you might find something that you like even more. Actually, that is very Imagine, lovely too. And then like the cabinets painted the same color. Oh, yeah. You could do black stainless steel with this, that would be nice yeah. too. It's basically what I'm wearing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Tip number four is to really nail down your budget. Have a clear idea of how much you're able to spend before you go shopping. When considering your budget, don't forget installation cost. It's very important. And it's really not somewhere you want to cut corners. Oh, these are cool. They look like real stone. They're beautiful. They'd be great around a pool or a terrace. Totally. And it's something that looks like it could be indoors as well. Mm -hmm. So to have that kind of transition from indoor to out, it's beautiful. Another Ask a Designer question we get often is about floor tile and what size to use in any specific room. Yeah. In my opinion, I think bigger the better, even 24 by 24. I also like it when the grout lines are very fine, like as close together as possible. Mm -hmm. Almost like a seamless look? Yeah. As you can see, there are a lot of products available. So use our tips to streamline the process and find the right material for your project.